Hi, this is Tim from Sylvania Fountains and I'm here today to show you how to make a waterproof wire splice using the Sylvania Fountains wire splice kit. Uh, please note that I only use this kit on a properly operating GFI circuit. Now I'll go over what's in the kit. Uh, all you're going to get is uh, three pieces of uh, quarter inch sealant lined heat shrink tubing and one piece of um, a half to three quarter inch sealant lined heat shrink tubing uh, could be black, could be clear, could be about any color, doesn't matter in this case we're going to use a clear um, and then you're going to need some tools here to do the job first thing is we're going to need a safety shield, safety glasses to uh, make sure that we're doing this safely. Then uh, we will need a soldering tool, an iron or a gun, and electrical solder. Don't use solder that's uh, made for plumbing. That is not electrical solder. It contains an acid core. Uh, it's, it's just will do a lot of damage. So you'll need a, a ruler or a measuring tool. You'll need a diagonal cutters. They're also known as side cutters or dikes. Uh, need a sharp knife that'll cut the uh, jacket of the uh, of, of the wire that we're going to be cutting. And uh, you need a heat gun, some uh, wire strippers. And you need uh, this device here is called Helping Hands, and uh, it's a very good uh, piece of equipment to have around to try to solder two pieces of wire together by yourself. So you can buy one of these, uh, or you can actually make one by just taking an alligator clip, using some heavy 12 gauge wire, making a couple loops, and then coming over the other side and bending it and you can come up with something similar uh, to something like this okay now uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking uh, a cord like this we're going to be cutting off the end of the wire and uh, and then we're going to be splicing this to another uh, similar what type wire. So I have here uh, a couple pieces of of wire. I already cut the uh, cut the ends off. And uh, what you want to do is to cut the jacket of this end. Of uh, it doesn't matter which end. On one end, we want to cut off about uh, one and a half inches, and the other end cut off one inch of the jacket. And then we're going to be uh, cutting off three eighths of an inch of each wire of the insulation, and uh, then we're going to tin the ends of the wire. Now, I already did the cutting and the tinning of each of these wires and you can see this is what they look like now uh, the next thing that we need to do is to uh, uh, is to put you need to put the heat shrink on at this time and you put it on the longer end and the reason being uh, you do not, if you put it on the short end, you're going <laughs> to be covering over the, the solder joint. So we're going to be putting it over the longer end. So you can do all three of them. Whatever. And we could have put the, uh, the large piece of heat shrink on over here first or you can put on the other side but you got to make sure that 
that you do have the heat shrink on before you do the next step because uh, once you start soldering wires uh, you can't get this heat shrink on you would have to unsolder the wires and uh, do this over again so this is what uh, we have here and again I've got some pieces these are not very long but they're going to show uh, rep represent what we need to do here so in this case these helping hands what we would do is take something like that on the green wire and you take something like this on the other side now in this case the wires are the same as far as um, the color goes but if you're taking two different kinds of wire you may end up with trying to do a you know a, a red or black or whatever but in this case we got green white and black so in this case all we have to do then is get that together with the helping hands you can see that you know it makes a a real easy way to uh, hold these together now I'm just going to solder these Let me get them a little straighter now you notice that this uh, alligator clip also acts as a heat sink I got a little wire or a little solder on here. Let it cool. Then you can see that we're going to be doing the same thing to the other two wires. So I'm going to uh, pause this and then we'll continue on with uh, with the other two wires done okay I have now soldered all three conductors with an inline splice inline solder splice uh, this is a good time to check to make sure that you have all three pieces of heat shrink small heat shrink and that you have the large piece of heat shrink uh, all ready to go so we're going to slip each of these small pieces of heat shrink about over the center of the joint Just approximate as close uh, then then we're going to use the heat gun to uh, seal this so it's gonna make a little noise here Uh, you should note that if you uh, have done this correctly that you'll actually see a sealant coming out of each out of each end and thusly has uh, sealed the wire properly so in this case it has and we now know that we have a seal here 
and uh, making sure I can still touch it so anyways I'm going to set this again in the center of the joint and now we're going to work from the center over to the edge not from the edge to the centers to the other edge you're going to use the center to each edge and again we're going to do the same procedure this heat shrink goes to uh, 3 to 1 ratio so uh, we shouldn't have any problem with this particular wire Again, you should see sealant uh, coming out of each end, which you can definitely uh, see it there. And the other thing is that um, you, if it's clear, you can actually see like a color change because the the uh, adhesive is adhered right to the jacket of the wire. So in this case, we have now a double seal. We have the uh, quarter inch uh, of the heat shrink that has sealed each one of the wires and then we have the larger heat shrink which is sealed from jacket jacket to jacket so and that's it you've got a good wire splice and uh, should be ready to go in the water Again, uh, this needs to be hooked up to a properly working GFCI circuit. That will make sure that there's no water uh, problems inside it and ensures the safety of everybody around. So I hope this helped in how to make a waterproof a wire splice. And uh, thank you for watching. Also, uh, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to give us, uh, to contact us at info at sylvaniafountains.com. Your comments are welcome. So we thank you very much for watching this video.